Why does it tickle? Why does a simple touch make us laugh, squirm, or even beg for mercy? The answer is not just about nerves. It's about survival, psychology, and one of the strangest mysteries of the human body. Tickling happens when your skin's nerve endings detect light, unexpected touches. The signal travels through your nervous system to the brain. But unlike pain or pleasure, tickling activates a strange mix of both. You laugh, but it's not joy. You squirm, but it's not pain. Tickling is a paradox, an experience that feels playful and unbearable at the same time. Scientists divide tickling into two types. Nesmesis, the light, crawling sensation, like a bug moving on your skin. It doesn't make you laugh, it makes you shiver. It's a warning system. Gargalsis, the deep tickling that makes you laugh uncontrollably. Only mammals like humans, chimps and rats experience this. Tickling isn't random. It's your body's way of mixing defense with bonding. Here is the mystery. Try tickling yourself. It doesn't work. Why? Because your brain predicts your own movements. The cerebellum cancels out expected sensations. Tickling only works when the touch is unpredictable when your body senses someone else might be a threat or a friend. These may hold the answer to why tickling exists. Defense mechanism. Tickling spots like the neck, ribs and feet are vulnerable areas. Tickling trained humans to protect them quickly. Social bonding. Parents tickle children. Friends tickle each other. It creates laughter and trust. Testing strength. In ancient cultures, tickling was even used to train warriors to resist discomfort. Tickling is both weapon and bonding tool. Pain and play fused into one. Tickling is deeply psychological. It creates forced laughter. Not because it's funny, but because your body is overwhelmed. It's one of the rare forms of touch that blurs the line between pleasure and discomfort. It can reveal trust. You only allow people close to you to tickle you. Strangers doing it feels like violation. In this way, tickling exposes the tension between intimacy and threat. Tickling isn't always innocent. History shows it was used as torture. In ancient China, prisoners were tied and tickled endlessly on their feet. It left no scars, but drove victims to agony. Even today, forced tickling can trigger panic, helplessness, and trauma. The same thing that bond families can be twisted into cruelty. So, why does it tickle? Because your skin and brain were made to detect threats. Because your nervous system mixes fear and pleasure in a strange cocktail. Because laughter can be a weapon or a signal of trust. Because sometimes, the body hides survival lessons inside sensations we can't explain. Tickling is not just about laughter. It's about power, connection, and the mysterious line between danger and delight.